Hi guys, welcome back to Delaware Acre. Welcome back to the kitchen. I have a few things to do today. I guess they're at school. My husband's sleeping. He goes until midnight tonight. So I have some meal prep to do for both myself, my husband, um, and the kids for lunches just to make my life a little bit easier over the next few days. Um, I have eggs from my girlfriend's backyard chickens. Uh, they need to be washed up. I'm gonna make some chicken salad for my husband. I have a box from Amazon to open that I'm kind of excited to show you about. I have some stuff to put away over here. Um, just a few little things. Um, I'm also gonna go put around in the garden a little bit before the kids get home. So here we go. These eggs are from my girlfriend's backyard chickens and they are, they're very young chickens. So they're quite dirty eggs. So um, if you don't clean them off, you can leave them on the counter for, I guess, several weeks. Um, but we go through probably about this many eggs in a week because I hard boil eggs for the kids for their lunches. And um, so I can get this one out. They're, uh, they're pretty dirty, but her chickens are young, so they're going to be dirty. Also, it just rained for several days. So I'm going to wash these up and then get them in the fridge. So I got these all nice and washed up. They weren't really that bad. Um, just a few of them had some poopy stuff on them. I only cracked one egg. <laughs> I get a little overzealous with the scrubbing. Um, and I guess I should explain for those of you that don't have chickens, which I don't have chickens either. I wish I did, but fresh eggs that come directly from the chicken, not from the store will, um, the chickens lay them with something that's called a bloom on the egg. Uh, I guess it's nature's way of protecting the egg um, from the elements and it can actually stay at room temperature with the bloom in place for several weeks, which is why you see some people have uh, like baskets of eggs on their counter. Uh, but once you wash it off, um, I didn't use, I don't use soap on these. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, if they're really bad, I'll use like a scrub brush and scrub it, which has residual soap on it. But I don't necessarily, um, scrub them with soap, but it washes that bloom off. So then that's when they need to be refrigerated. So just a little egg lesson for you there. It's like taking my life in my own hands here. <laughs> um, I keep these are the eggs that are from our cousin's chickens. They have these really cool blue and green eggs. How cool are those? Um, so I have those in here from my little surprise delivery from her. I'm not really sure what this drawer is supposed to be for. I know these are crispers for the for fruits and veggies. And that looks like a muffin, but it's actually a peach <laughs> in a wrapper. But I don't know what that drawer is for, so that's where I put my eggs. This can of garbanzo beans that I'm going to drain, rinse, coat it in some oil, and put some seasoning on it. And this will be a snack for me uh, over the next few days while I'm working. I'm trying to have high protein snacks. So I make those garbanzo beans in my air fryer slash toaster oven and I can't use it <laughs> until I clean this tray off. So I have eggshells in here. I just roasted them for a few minutes just to dry them out. I guess I toasted them, um, but these need to be crushed up. I'll shove these into the ninja cup and put the blade on and then I will wait until my husband wakes up to use the blender and then wash this off and then I can do my garbanzo beans. My 
cat always comes running when he hears a can open because I think the owners that had him before must have fed him canned food. <laughs> I hear you. It's not something you're gonna wanna eat there, my friend. how this would work out. Hmm. Lemon garbanzo beans. We'll give it a try. Drizzle in some oil. Definitely going to do some salt. Let's see. What else goes with lemon? Salt. Maybe some pepper. Lemon, lemon pepper. Oh, it smells very lemony. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know. Is this a good idea? Good thing garbanzo beans aren't that expensive. This kitty really thinks that that can was for him. Take the paper plate off of the top. <laughs> That's all roast them. Not quite an hour. Let's do 350 for 30 minutes. Clean up a little bit. Kitty, it's not it's not food for you. See, do you like it? Yeah, it's not cat food. Told you. I have been waiting to put this butter in the butter dish. That noise there is the automatic cat food for the cats. Um, so I've been wanting to put this butter in my butter dish that I keep out on the counter. Let me know. Do you guys keep your butter on the counter or do you keep it in the fridge? I know. But I wanted to wash, wanted to wash it off um, before I put a fresh, kind of a fresh stick, half a stick. I got this butter from Costco. It's the Kirkland's version of the Kelly, Kelly, Kel, is it Kel, Kelly Gold, Kerry Gold, Kelly Gold. Um, but it's grass and grass-fed butter from New Zealand. I don't know if it's the same exact thing as the Kerry Gold. Kerry Gold, Kelly Gold, I don't know. It's in the green wrapper like this. It's really good butter. some chicken salad for my husband he likes it with miracle whip oh gross but it's what he likes so If I can make it with half mayonnaise and half Miracle Whip, maybe I'll be able to tolerate it. So I got this Primal Kitchen mayonnaise made with avocado oil. Oh gosh, the texture and the smell of this is even better. I don't know why he likes that. I just don't get it. So I'm going to put, well, this is a little more green looking than <laughs> than the Miracle Whip, for sure. Onion. A 
Okay, guys, I have to ask you this. I'm trying to put this stuff away and this flipping pizza box is in the way, right? Pizza box in the fridge. You see how much room it's taking up, right? Let me just close the fridge because that gives me anxiety to leave it open. Check this out. The whole pizza box for one slice of pizza. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else find it extremely satisfying to toss the box into the garage to pick up later? I hate my dishwasher. I hate, 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 hate this dishwasher. It stinks. It's old. I've done everything. I've called the manufacturer even. They said that it's such an old model that there's nothing they can do to help me. With the smell, I would just have to purchase a new one. So, I'm not that type of person. <laughs> I'm not going to go out and buy a new one just because they can't help me. So, I figure out something that helps with the smell. And that is vinegar. I add this to my laundry and I also add it to my dishwasher to help with smell. And it helps with, um, instead of putting the rinse aid in, I just use the vinegar in a cup up there. And it helps the silverware not be spotted when it comes out and not spots all over everything. And it does smell a little like vinegar when you open it up, but your dishes come out super clean. We don't put anything sharp in the sink so that no one reaches into the sink, i.e. me, when I go to wash the dishes and don't cut my finger on the knife. And it doesn't go in the dishwasher. So we just set it up here and then I'll wash the knife by hand. Finally, it stopped raining. It rained for four days. I think that's what we got from the storm Ian. Grab some peppers. Oh gosh, it's starting to spit out here again. I don't know if you can see them or hear them, but the Chinooks are out. I'll put in a clip. If you can see it. He's just below the tree line right there. They just hover. They hang out there. Oh, these radishes. I've got to get these radishes out too. And then I have some residual peppers. But I need to harvest these guys. These are the little lettuces that we planted the other day. Kale's hanging in there. I decided to do voiceover because that Chinook just got louder and louder. But this is our first little pea flower and these peas actually started to reach over to the trellis. But look at these, I had no idea. I still had lima beans growing. I think he might have brought home two plants from school. You know, the science project where they grow a, sprout a seed between two paper towels. And I asked him what kind of, what kind of plant it was. And he had no idea. He said, I don't know, the seed was white. <laughs> so that's cool. There's no beans in there yet. There's nothing in there yet. I'm not sure if they are cold hardy or not, but it's been really cold with the rain all weekend long. Today's actually pretty warm. I'm actually a little warm in a sweatshirt outside. So. These marigolds are hanging on. What's going on with my pumpkins? This guy, I've just been waiting for this guy to ripen. Let's see. Well, Where's his tendril? So this is his tendril, the tendril closest to the fruit. And it's not dry yet. This is dry, this is not dry. So he gets to hang out a little longer. Get it, hang out. <laughs> There's my guy that's, that's stuck in there. He's definitely ready to come out. See how his tendril is dry? I can't get him out. I'll have to cut him out. I got all these pumpkins out. Oh look, there's one there's one over there. I see you. These guys might be ready soon. This tendril is getting there. 
getting there. And then this tendril, nope, this one's still very green. So she's not ready yet. Not yet, but she's very saggy. So I might have to, I might have to harvest her because she's really not supported there. I think it's the end of the road for these pumpkins, <laughs> this vine. Oh no. Oh, this one's all gucky. All right, well, now that everything's soaking wet from four days of rain, I'll come rip this stuff out. If I had chickens, I would just put a chicken net up and let the chickens have at it, but since I don't have chickens, I usually try to burn my vines too, instead of putting them in my compost because of the squash beetles. Oh gosh, they're so gross. Little fig trees. I don't know, they're really hard. I don't know if these are gonna be edible or not. They smell like figs. And then this little one over here. I don't know. I don't know when they're gonna ripen, if they are gonna ripen into anything. I wonder if these are all eaten inside too. Like that one I had, that was really bad. Enjoying that one. I guess I left it in there way too long. Oh, can you see that? Darn, that was a big one too. Your tomato plant kind of expected that after all that rain these are like the coolest shade of purple my overflow spot there's quite a few on here two plants here I need to clean off the bottom of them and they're getting moved inside now that the weather is getting colder but they very much enjoy <laughs> being outside 
in the hot, hot summer. But now it's time to come in. These plants ended up being very wet from all the rain all weekend, so they got a few more hours outside. I've been waiting to open this. These are just Amazon basic things. Rectangular. Packaged pretty well. This is like the perfect size to take to lunch. At work. This one too. tight and leak tight like liquid oh look at this big one. Oh, this is perfect for like leftover spaghetti and pasta awesome I'm trying to get away from plastic even though this is plastic oh gosh even though these are plastic I won't heat it up with the lid on so very cool Packed finally. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces with matching lids. So now I can get away from the Rubbermaid Tupperware that I have. These will be fun. Gotta get them in the dishwasher and then start using them. Okay, hubby is awake so I can blend these. Crispier. To some, it may seem like a lot of extra work to buy one large container and then divide up into smaller portions, but I try not to buy individual plastic cups in an attempt to decrease my plastic usage. Sometimes at work I like something warm to drink in the afternoons but not necessarily something caffeinated so I've been taking some bone broth to work to sip one. I found that if I pre-scoop my protein into the mixer bottles, I am more likely to grab that and sip on it on my drive to work. I wanted to scrub the sink out and make sure it was nice and clean before I started chopping these peppers. There's nothing like a nice scrubbed, freshly scrubbed clean sink to start with after a day of meal prep. I found these three little calendula flowers amongst my peppers. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these radishes just yet. So I'm gonna cut the roots off and leave them whole. And then I'm just gonna put them this jar with some water until I figure it out. <laughs> Looks like a little butt. Just cut that in half to get all the dirt out. I'm just covering these with water from my Berkey filter and going to place them in the fridge until I figure out what to do with them. Leave a comment below if you have suggestions. 
now it's time to take care of these peppers. I'm washing them a little and then slicing them small enough to fit them in my chopper. And I chop them up and put them in the freezer until I can figure out what to do with them. I have made pepper jelly or pepper jam uh, for, as Christmas gifts, but I usually save making them making that until the cooler months when I can can inside and enjoy the heat from the canner instead of try to fight my air conditioner with the stove being on for long periods of time. My trusty little chopper. Can you see it okay? I have the larger chop in. Take my little basket out. And I actually don't feel like dealing with these hot peppers. So I sent a text to my girlfriends at work. They said that they want some. So I'm actually just gonna put them in a paper bag like these, the rest of these, and take them to work and share the bounty. All right. Let's check these guys. Oh yeah, these guys are done, let's see. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, not too lemony. This will be a nice, good, crunchy snack this week. I like to pre-portion out my snacks for my work week so that I can just grab and go in the morning instead of worrying about measuring when I'm trying to get out the door. My protein shake, ready to go. Just add water, shake it, and chug it. Uh, the last of my granola for my yogurt. Uh, and my garbanzo beans, I guess chickpeas, roasted snacks for the next couple days. Back to this plant, it has now dried out a little bit and I'm gonna try to fit it in this basket, which it's too big for, but it will work for now. Check out these two guys. Look how cute you are. You snuggling? You have this entire cat tree and you're both on the same little tiny spot and you don't even both fit. He's hanging off the side. You're too so cute. Well, if you stuck around this long, thanks for spending time with me and my back and forth day. Thanks for watching.